If I can help it, I want the gasket to stay on the back. If not, I'm going to have to make another one. Yeah, I think I've knackered it. Couple of bits in there. Oh, I might have saved that. We'll have a look. Oh, my little pipe's worn all through. Look, must fix that. Right, I've, I've knocked a chunk out of this gasket here. So I'll have to change that. Right, I'll just whip the uh, pressure plate off. As you see, this one hasn't got a screw in the middle, and it's a pain. Every time I want to adjust the push rod, I have to tick this off and shimmy it up. I've got different length springs in this. I've got two really long ones and two shorter ones. I had loads of clutch slip problem all the time, brand new clutch. So I ended up messing about with the cups and the springs until I ended up with a clutch I could pull and one that didn't slip. And this was it. I think it's got a half an extra plate in as well somewhere. I can see the tangs on these plates are well, <laughs> well knackered. Well, they're still on. So hopefully I'll get this season out of it and then get... Oh, that spring. Get this season out of it. That's it. Yes, this little notch here. There you see. The little notch. It catches onto the ends of the springs to stop them unscrewing. There's one in the bottom of the cup as well. Lots of people seem to worry about this. That that is that's irrelevant that. It's because the centre of contact right above the bearing should try and push it back and forth like that. Not wobble it, they'll all wobble. Looks like they're hanging off sometimes, but back and forward. Right, I'm just going to whip the plates out. You can make little hooky things to get them in. Or sometimes you can use a magnet. Depends which which will work. No chance. Oh, there you go, I might get one or two out with a magnet. Oh. Come on, you bugger. Little tangs. These are... Got them damaged, they should actually fit in there. Look at that difference. So, that makes a clunk when you're getting it into gear. Can cause problems. Oogies. You can see it last place. where most of my metal's from. Uh, hopefully we can see the damage in here. See that? It's like a set of saw teeth. I know where most of my roots are from. See, they really damage these. If they get deep enough, the plates can drop in. I think I'll end up having to change both of these. I've got another basket. Uh, oh well. Uh, 
then if you have a spare set of plates, if you're doing any work on clutches, get a friction plate and a, and a, and a um, plane plate and bolt, bolt them together like so. Right, this is how I lock the centre up. And get them lined up. Well done. Right, the bike's in gear. I've connected the back brake back up. The bike's in gear, put the back brake on. With a bit of luck. Now for all the balls to drop out. Well, rollers. Right. Got my lock tight. Just hold that middle end. Right. Disconnect the back brake. Oh, we've got the centre nut off. Got all the plates out. Oh, it might even come off. Now we hear your own little tinkles. Keep the back back. Oh, no. Oh, I'll think of someone for that. Pull the push right out. Right, the washer in here, you know. Arms are tilted together. I felt a dent in there, so I'll just try and get the crap out of here. There it is. Right, I'll give that a good square. Couple of magnets, couple of bolts, make sure they go together. There we go. Talk about damage. Right, you see this? See these chipped, chipped. I'm the middle of them. Ooh. Hey, this hasn't been off for a while. I've done a lot of miles on it, like. Oh, I'm going to have a laugh at that. Right, I've slackened the adjuster off as far as it'll go. Right, now it's play catch the rollers. Oh, there they go. Oh, there's one. 